Hey guys, in my last uh, weekly video, I uh, made an off-the-cuff comment about how I use the Nagra 3 for tape looping, and uh, I got several questions about how one might go about that, or my technique I use. Um, this is not a tutorial about the Nagra 3. This is not a tutorial about high-end splicing techniques. Uh, what I'm about to do here will not work if, you're, if you have to cut a 24-track two-inch tape with Simpty on it. All right, this is just uh, this is just for fun looping. Uh, Nagra 3 is an, a mono deck, so uh, for this kind of task, it's actually very good and simple to work with. Uh, in order to get to the banana jacks into the real world, I have this little box. Uh, it's a format jumbler made by uh, Logan Erickson, uh, Logan Electronics. It's like $99. It gives you five banana to quarter inch and five banana to 3.5 millimeter and then obviously banana doesn't have a ground so there's a separate ground channel on the side there which is, it's a very handy box to have if you have an agra and then I'm gonna take my reel I don't actually uh, you don't need to take up reel for this uh, it depends on the construction of the machine the nagra in particular you don't need to take, take up reel to make a quick loop up there. I have a, a field recording I made in uh, Mexico last week. It's at the foot of the uh, Muyil pyramid. I just set, I, we were the only ones there so there wasn't any tourist noise or anything. So I just set the little uh, test cam recorder at the base of the pyramid and I let it record for a while. And so uh, I had put that on my octave page, so uh, I'm just playing right off the octave page here. On my iPhone, I'm going to run this onto the Nagra. Nagra has uh, two record modes. Hi-Fi Hi Record uses the uh, level knobs, and then Automatic Record uses the built-in limiter. And uh, for this kind of, for dish looping ambience and shit, this is kind of the way you want to go is with the automatic record. So it's basically it's all set up and ready to play now and I'm just gonna I'm gonna start this loop playing or start the ambience playing and then I'm gonna start the Nagra recording. So you can see the meters, the modulo meter feeding out some tape there and we're good. Now if I rewind this, so we're going to need to cut that little end off there and then let's uh, run some out to make a loop with. So when you uh, make tape loops, you generally want to cut on the bias. Uh, that makes a little bit of a crossfade. If you just cut it straight, then there'll be a little... Now that said, I'm not great at this, so uh, I tend to get a little click anyways. So we just stick the razor blade in there. Bing, bang, boom. There's our one end. Now you want to get sure you cut it the right direction, so pull it back without twisting it. And there's our other end. And on, uh, on normal tape, if you're new to this, the black side is the outside, and uh, the brown side is the side that's recorded on. 
So, all we do is get our ends in there. Now again, we want to make sure we don't make it into a Mobius strip or anything, so this is kind of a pain in the ass, but just to make sure you get it going the right way. Put in the splicing block. Get our ends together. That looks pretty good. So now we need a little bit of splicing tape. You can use, uh, if you don't have splicing tape, you can use scotch tape or whatever. Splicing tape works the best. Plus, because it's a nice blue color, you can really see where the, uh, splice, where the splice is. get it off a little bit it'll catch on the uh, record head so you want to make sure you get it lined up real nice and there's our splice and because it's on the bias it has a little bit of a crossfade and that'll keep it from clicking now that's important for drum loops and stuff when you're just looping ambience you know obviously it's not going to match up and it's going to we don't know what it's going to sound like until we did put it in so we get rid of our reels now, with the Naga 3 and most open reel decks, they have these little pins here to, to hold the reels. So uh, those will catch on the tape and rip it or wind it around the cap stand or whatever. So you got to keep the loop away from the cap stands. And uh, however you choose to do that is entirely up to you. But we just lay it in there. Now, uh, every deck is different, but most of them need that, I don't know what that thing's called, that capstan thing, to be held to play correctly. The Naga 3 does not, but if it's not held, the uh, direction will be a little weird sometimes. Um, but anyways, you just need something that's smooth to hold, the, hold your loop out at this point. I found that beer bottles work, full beer bottles, pretty well. Uh, this is a Kilt Lifter, a local brew. I don't really drink beer from Four Peaks in Tempe. Uh, I don't really drink beer, so I don't know what the fuck this tastes like. Somebody left it at our house after a party. I, I, it's probably okay. All right, let's see how we work. One Mayan Pyramid Tape Loop. Now on the Nagar 3 you can do sound on sound if you just run this so that it's not touching the uh, record head. Then you can run it in Hi-Fi Record and you're monitoring outputs. It won't come out of the speaker because obviously they give you feedback, but you're monitoring outputs are live. So you can listen and record. Uh, it, in my experience it lasts about th four passes through. Uh, my friend Marcus Fisher who does really beautiful uh, sound on sound installations using really long loops and, uh, and a Nagra, I think he has a Nagra 4 or a Nagra 3S. Now you can, uh, there's nothing stopping you from running this backwards. In fact, I think that is running backwards. Uh, you can run at different speeds, whatever. Uh, it, then Nagra 3 has four speeds, I believe. And, uh, and so you can flip it around backwards or chop it into a bunch of pieces and splice them all back in different ways. It's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. Uh, tape looping is... It's a, you know, obviously it's a much more tedious method of music creation than just
putting together sounds in a da, but uh, it's more direct, and because it's electromechanical, uh, you have, you know, actual physical control over the sound. Plus, uh, it's just fucking cool, you know?